We lost a section. Friggin' right. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to 4K Belsif. I'm back again with a little bit more framework because we gotta get her done. As you've seen on the previous couple videos there, we kinda got that all painted up and it's looking pretty damn good. Needs a couple more coats on there, of course, here and there, and maybe up there a little bit more, but around here is not too bad. You still gotta fix that thing right there, but we'll get to her. Friggin' right, we will. That's all you're gonna friggin' hear on this video is a cricket. I gotta go find him and get rid of him. Hold on a second. Yeah, I hear you, Rock. Great. He's over there somewhere. But we cut this off. And I didn't actually measure to see where the hell I was supposed to put her or nothing like that. So I think I'm going to talk myself over. Let's get something new on here. Girl, easy. Oh yeah, I can see that, that cricket's not going to go anywhere. That's okay. So if you look here, we get this piece, we get that piece, and you might even have this piece over there. But this piece is right here, and this is up here. So this might be able to give me a measurement right here. So technically it was right there. And right there, we need that much, which we can handle, maybe. Give me a tape measure. Okay, sounds good. Oh, I need a pen, Captain. Oh, I need that cricket right off, Captain. Oh, boy. What we need to do is we need to come up well, this far, and we need to line her up, and we need to measure. So I want to put in four inches. Let's go five inches. So five inches of frame is right there, somewhere. How am I going to do this, Cap? You know what? There's got to be a way to do this. Let me think for a minute. I know how we can do this. So we put a straight edge across here, like this, and we'll go to here. That's not going to work. We'll go to here. Let's do it that way. That ain't going to work either. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing right now. Just bear with me here, would you? All right, let's do it this way. Do I look like a monkey fucking a football yet? Because I sure the f feel like one. And that cricket's gonna drive me to drink so we'll go to there and then we'll grab the other piece and we'll do the same thing and then we should be about the same maybe remember to allow for your your grind off when you're doing this so there we go eight and a half eight and a half holy shit that's it so we need two pieces and five inches so there's one let's cut that one. Oh my god frame extensions and now we got to make sure we cut this straight across like that so how we do that is we got to mark it again and I lost every single one of my doodads probably don't know what I'm talking about there just listen to the damn crickets they'll tell you what doodads I'm talking about so we'll line that up to there which is right there and then we'll scratch mark it and hopefully I can see that sure can and then we'll do the same on this side. Actually, let's do it with a piece of the for this side, even though they're both the same. So now we get a grinder and we'll cut that off. Okay, here goes, oh, dick. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, hold on. Let's turn this a little bit that way. Now just remember, when you're cutting towards yourself like that, things can happen quite easily. All right, so that's that way. Now we're gonna go in, perfect. Spin this around, and now we'll go this way. Captain, you see? And then, the crooked back there. Something doesn't seem right. I will cut her off and see what happens. There we go, perfect. So now we'll weld that right onto there, and that should make it a good extent. I gotta take a little bit more off there. Careful! There it is. But it goes that way. Look at that. Hey, okay. right, all right, Jim. Yeah, we did. So there's one side. Now we gotta do the same on this side. Aye. Ah. <laughs> Turn this again. There we go. The 
just like that. And then that will go on there. You should be able to do it, no problem. I am gonna take a measurement from here down to here just to see how far off we are from side to side. Let's just go a straight down angle. So we got 11 and 3 eighths. Uh, 11 and a half actually, 11 and a half. We'll do this one down here. 11 and a half, oh my God, we're good. So you just gotta mount that on there, get her nice and square. And I'll show you how to do that because I just happen to have some doodads that might what not that idea for me. I just gotta find them, hold on a second. Here they are. They're not big enough though, I should have got bigger ones. Careful, but they'll work. So if I stick this on here like this, you see it didn't work. I went like this. I went up here. Yeah, that's not working too good, eh? They're not strong enough, Captain. Okay, there's another way we can do this too, eh? We can take this off, we can put this on, we have to do one at a time. Are you watching? Probably not. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a clamp, I'm gonna put this on here, like this, tighten it up, tighten it up again. Let's come down further. Tighten it up, there we go. And then we'll take this, and we'll put that right like that, and we'll clamp her on there. And that will give me a, a kind of an angle of dangle here. So let's get another pair of doodads. Houston, we might have a problem here. Now we got another pair of doodads. It's never a good thing we don't have enough doodads. Let's try if we can we get this around there. Oh yeah, we might be able to do it this way. So we'll get this on here, and then we'll clamp it this way. Maybe, maybe not. Let me think, still thinking. Just give me a minute, it's not gonna work. So, the only other thing we do is move the C-clamp down so it catches both. Anybody got another hand? Because I could really use one right now. Technically, I don't really even need the bar if I'm doing it this way, but hey, we'll use it anyways. How's that look? That looks pretty friggin' good right there. Just gonna give it a couple little taps with a hammer. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Turn this so it's straight with the frame so we can see what's what. Right about there, Captain. I think that would be pretty good. All right, let's throw a tack on that thing. By a tack, I mean damn near all of it. I'm gonna put a tack on this side, and then we're gonna move over and put a tack on the other side. Ready? I'm not. Careful. Easy. Where am I? There, that's that side. Look like a dirty tip. Dirty tips always dick you over. There we go. Now you pull that off, and that shouldn't move. So now I'll put some more welds on her to hold her the rest of the way. We've got to get the other side once we flip her, I think. Perfect. Look at that, Jim. Okay, doesn't get any straighter than that right there. So now we'll do the same on this side. You know what? I was going to sit on my ass all night and do nothing because I didn't feel like doing a damn thing, but I made myself get up and do something. Stay right there. Did I tell you? Stay right there. Okay, you don't move. Let me get some snug onto you. Right there, I said. Not right there. Right there. Kind of. Maybe. Hold on. Right there. Don't worry, we'll get this. You just give me a minute. It's hard to do this one. Okay, well, oh, we're getting close. Careful now. Let's give her a tack right there. Good? Good. Okay. Okay, that's good there. Oh, there's a little thing on the frame still on this one. Yeah, that's not bad. That will hold her. See that? Not too bad. Yep. Beauty? I'm not looking at this side, not with the dick. Hey, how you doing? I got my welder mount. As you can tell. It's actually probably too hot for this job. Better to be too hot than not having that. That's the way I look at it. And that's why I'm stitching because I'm running her hot. See that? Lots on there. A little hole right there, but we'll get that in a minute here, right now. Careful. Easy. That'll, that'll win you. Did you get it yet? There it is. That was a stubborn little hole right there, but we got her. Bring her right, you got her. Next. Lens all dicked over, probably. Oh, f is it ever. Boys, I just cocked my lens right over, but that's okay. GoPro Hero 9. Well, as you've seen there, the good old GoPro went into overheat mode. She gets a little hotter in 4K, I guess. All GoPros like to go in overheat mode. It's the only thing GoPro needs to fix. I think that's why people use DS DLRs or DSLRs, DSLRs or whatever the hell they use, eh? The regular camera in video mode. Probably because they don't shut off when they get hot. GoPros are so bad for that. I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet. What's really going on? Put some waterproof vents or something in it. 
Do something. There's nothing more annoying for a creator than his camera to shut off when he's in the middle of a freaking movie or video. Smart enough, GoPro. Why wouldn't you? But I did get these tacked on. As you've seen, they're welded on. I got this on here just with a C-clamp. I can't weld it yet because I need to put the body on because the body sits in here and it's going to be perfect. So I got to put the body on, mount it up, and then she'll be good to go. We'll weld the back side of that. We'll Makita weld these nice and smooth, and then we'll be able to paint them. And then that part will be done all nice and solid again. Friggin' right it will be. So then when we're done that, we gotta trim this off. And then we'll start working on the new leaf springs for the rear end and the shocks. And then we'll move to the front. Once I get the back mounted with the shocks on it, we'll move up to the front. Leave your comments down below if you wanna see this progress. I think you do, but some of you might not. And I understand, but it is what it is. I gotta show you the whole progress. So, excuse me, what's really going on? It's not like I just maybe pooped myself and did. Hey, little, little, how you doing? Hopefully you're enjoying this. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Don't forget to leave me any comments down below. Or hey, any questions even help. Hope you all enjoy it. I'm glad you're all here. Love you all. And until the next one. You know what to do for now.